In the Climbing Einstein Science Kit, you will find a card with a template of Einstein, a straw and some string. You will also need the following additional items, a roll of masking tape, a pair of scissors and a pen knife. When you use sharp items, make sure you have an adult who is working next to you. This is a perforated card, so you can just pop out all the pieces from the perforated card. And once you pop everything out, you will have four pieces. You take your straw and you cut two small pieces from the straw. You can play with the length of the straw. Keep it around maybe 3 cm or so. Now what you need to do is you need to paste the straw to the back of your Einstein. Well, you don't have to use a very long piece of masking tape, just a short one will do. It's very important when you stick your straw to make sure that the straw is stuck at an angle. We will see later why it's very important. Now, cut a length of string. This is the ladder that your Einstein is going to climb up. Cut your length of string into two pieces. So you have two ropes. You take your masking tape and stick it to the end of the string. What you're now going to do, you're going to insert this string into the straw. You're going to attach the string to this piece of holder. The other two ends of the string, cut them to a length that you're comfortable with and attach them to the boots of the Einstein. So this will stop your Einstein from falling. And we're done. Now it's time we can go and make the Einstein climb. So now we're going to make the Einstein climb up and the way we're actually going to do this is by pulling the two strings. By pushing and pulling the strings, we can make the Einstein climb up the rope. Why is the Einstein climbing up? But when I let go and don't pull the string, he is not climbing down. This is because of friction. Remember when we built the Einstein, we attached the straws at an angle. Now attaching the straws at an angle means that when I push and pull the string, the string is parallel to the straw. And when the string is parallel to the straw, there is very little friction. But when I let go, the string is no longer parallel to the straw. And therefore, there's a lot more friction and this stops Einstein from falling down. Now, friction is a very useful thing. Friction is one of the forces that stop our cars from skidding because there's friction between the wheels of the car and the road. You can find out more about friction by playing with the friction kit that you can get from the Science Center. The friction kit has a lot of experiments that you can do to find out about friction. So here's one of them. So I'm just going to add a bunch of masses over here and see how much weight I need to add before the block starts to move. The friction kit helps you to change some of the misconceptions that you may have about friction as well.